Welcome back. You tuned in to Expresso here on SABC3. Now, if you're a serious gamer, you need to sit a little bit closer because Grant Hines is in the house and he brings with him a very, very cool game this morning. Transformers, the fall of Cybertron. And also stay tuned because in a few minutes, we'll tell you exactly how you could walk away with a copy of this game, could see of our friends at Take Lot, and that's either for Xbox or PS3. Dude, what's up? I'm in, I'm pumped. There's just so much action. Kim is just so hyperactive, and I think she's my antithesis. <laughs> you know, there's just so much energy going down. She's um, okay, man. This, and this game yeah. is not a quiet game. This is craziness. It, it, it actually looks very, very cool. It is. It is great. It is. If you like Transformers, okay. Firstly, yeah. Transformers confuses me. Uh, all I just right. want to get that out there. I don't understand why they are humanoid robots on another planet that transform into vehicles. And then in this game... Just because it's cool, man, you it, know? It, it must have Wouldn't it be awesome. cool if you had a couple of robots running around on Earth that's able to transform into like your favorite car or something like that? That's true, you that's know? true. And they took that awesome uh, theory a little bit further because you can also transform into dinosaurs. You Wait a minute. Yes. What? Be, do you remember Beast Wars? I do remember Beast Wars. When we were kids, that was that was the business. This is uh, you can do that kind of thing in this game as well. So that, that story plot and story arc makes a lot of sense. Wow. They take themselves very seriously, which confuses me um, <laughs> because I can't take this very seriously. But it's cool. There's a lot of crunchy metal. There's a lot of like yeah. robots transforming into vehicles. Look at that. So you, you I'm actually. I'm Optimus able... Prime at the moment. I'm Optimus Prime. Yeah, thank that, you very much. A, that, so, so, so give me the gist of the game, man. What's the aim? What do you need to do? So so you, there's, a, there's a plot that uh, they take, uh, obviously it's a very serious plot, yeah. where the Decepticons, who are the bad guys in the story, uh, hence Dude, deceit. You're getting nailed, man. Yeah, 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 it's difficult to do this at the same time, so don't judge me, people on the internet and on TV. Dude, you're a pro, come on, man. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the Decepticons <laughs> are taking over Cybertron, which is the okay. planet of uh, the Transformers. And uh, the Transformers have their last stand to defend it. And Optimus Prime is obviously leading the pack. That's um, it. Uh, and uh, you can jump between the Decepticons and the, the normal Transformers. Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's super sweet. Um, to continue the story, so you can play as Bumblebee, you play yeah. as Optimus Prime, okay. you play as Starscream, you play as all these dudes from yeah. the, uh, the Transformers universe. Uh, so if you're a fan, you're going to love this. If you're a diehard Transformers fan, it's cool. Oh, man. The gameplay is extremely fluid uh, and easy to play, uh, actually. Uh, it's a third-person shooter, as you can see, and the yeah. guns and the sound effects and the explosions, everything's so epic. It's running at 60 frames a second, so it's... It looks like a nice world to play in as well. I mean, lots of detail, lots of things going on. It's buttery smooth. It's rad. I, I, it's it is great. very smooth, eh? It, and you don't expect it. Transformers, you expect to be clunky and big, but actually, That's it thing, brings yeah. that life that Michael Bay wanted uh, in the Transformers universe uh, to your fingertips, you know? So it, yeah. it's, it's cool. It's very cool. The multiplayer is also rad. You can play online. So the story is not where the, 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 the whole energy ends. It carries on on the internet. And the multiplayer is great because you can create your own yeah. Transformer. You're kidding me? Yes, and you can transform into whatever you wanted to Are transform. Are you kidding me? No. That's awesome. And then obviously, because it's online, you can show it off with your friends and yeah. beat them up with your plane <laughs> that turns from a, a humanoid robot. <laughs> Great stuff. So, all right, so what's your favorite part of this game, if you had to say? I think the multiplayer is definitely the highlight of the game. Uh -huh. the, the story could get a little boring for some people, okay. uh, especially for people like me who don't really care about Transformers. Nerds yeah. on the... Don't judge me. I just don't understand the, w what makes this thing so cool. But if you do dig it, I don't judge you. Yeah. It's really cool. You will enjoy it. The yeah. multiplayer is where the party is at. That's where That's all it. the fun is to be had with this game. Well, luckily, I don't think you need to understand Transformers to be able to enjoy this game because you just go ahead and go for it and shoot and transform exactly, and do all those cool Exactly, exactly. So, like, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly yesterday, um, but the story is obviously the least interesting thing for yeah. me uh, with the, when it comes to that. But the multiplayer is hours and hours awesome. of fun. So it's awesome. Rad. Grant, thanks a lot, man. Of course, you could walk away with a copy of this very, very cool game, just SMS the keyword, win your name and city and the platform that you are using, either Xbox or PS3 to 33728, and you can have a time of your life playing Transformers <laughs> full of Cybertron. So give me a try. Can I have a try? Do you mind? Right. No, so, go for it. so while I get this going, let's go over to Grant and Katlejo getting a Paralympic update. Thanks, dude. <laughs>